Hi, welcome to Recap Rundown. A girl encounters a giant that's tens of meters high, and it takes her to its country where she realizes there are men eating giants, and she helps the humans fight back. The movie begins late at night in an orphanage somewhere in London. The matron from the orphanage goes to lock the door but notices a magazine that was dropped alongside the mail at the foot of the door. She picks up the magazine and forgets to lock the door. Meanwhile a little girl named Sophie, who is hiding under her blanket at the stairs, sees this and waits for the matron to retreat completely into her room, before she goes to lock the doors by herself. After locking the doors, she walks up to the clock and moves the minute hand to make it 3 a.m. while doing that. She tells us that 3 a.m. is the witching hour when only she is left awake. But the matron thinks it's midnight, while the other girls in the orphanage think it's 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. afterward. She walks to the matron's desk to arrange the mail while doing that. She hears a noise from outside and quickly goes to check outside. Sophie spots a few drunk men making noise in the quiet streets of London. She takes it into her own hands to reprimand them, reminding them that the children are trying to sleep, and she promises to call the cops. If the men don't leave immediately, she then turns off the streetlight and shuts the windows, while the men decide to leave instead of getting in trouble with the cops, while Sophie returns to her room. A strange shadow is seen walking past, which Sophie doesn't notice once inside the room where the other children are fast asleep. Sophie covers herself with her blanket, puts on her glasses, and turns on her torch to continue a book she had been reading a few seconds into her reading. She hears the matron approaching the room, and quickly turns off the flashlight to avoid getting caught after the matron leaves. Sophie resumes reading her book, and while reading she hears some noise coming from the outside which startles her. Sophie remembers that it is never good to get out of bed, open the curtains or look out the window at night, but she goes against everything anyways. Thankfully, it was just the neighborhood cats playing outside that toppled over a trash can. While Sophie is still staring at the cats, she sees a giant hand that picks up the trash can and tries to reach for the lid. Then Sophie makes eye contact with a scary-looking giant, and quickly rushes back into the room him to hide. She reminds herself one more time about not jumping out of bed, opening the curtains and not looking out the window. And just when she's about to turn around, the giant sticks his hand through the window and abducts her along with her blanket and book racing through London. Sophie's blanket curls up into something like a bag, from which Sophie can see the different tricks the giant uses to avoid being spotted by other humans. Tricks like pretending to be a wall covering a street light, being cargo at the back of a truck, and pretending to be a tree. The giant finally makes it out of London and into the countryside, where he keeps leaping and goes through a thick cluster of clouds that leads straight into giant country and into a cave which appears to be his home. The giant hangs Sophie in her blanket from a tree and proceeds to start chopping a strange vegetable called a snozcumber to prepare himself dinner while doing that. Sophie hops out of the blanket and climbs her way down to the window where she tries to escape. The window is difficult to open given her tiny size but she puts more effort into it and gets it to open. However she kicks a thimble on the table and dives for the catch. Instead, thankfully the giant doesn't hear her her. So she grabs the thimble as big as a bucket and tries to go the other direction when she bumps into his sewing tools, knocking them off the table and alerting the giant. He turns to her and tells her that she cannot go anywhere if she doesn't have wings. He then pushes the window, which knocks Sophie under the pan he's holding. The giant continues making his dinner. And Sophie asks where she is, he tells her, she's in giant country. But Sophie thinks no such thing exists. Suddenly she is startled by a sound from outside, coming from fellow giants with names like Fleshlam, Peter Bonecruncher, Manhugger, Child Chewer, Gizzard Gulper, Meat Tripper, Maid Masher, Blood Bottler and Butcher Boy. Sophie gets scared and pleads with the giant not to eat her, but the giant laughs at her saying he doesn't eat humans. Sophie then reminds the giant that she was snatched away without consent and the giant doesn't deny it. He points out that her parents must be worried about her, but Sophie tells him that she has no parents and that he had snatched her from an orphanage which the giant didn't realize. However, Sophie tells the giant that she hated it at the orphanage because the matron was incompetent and that she had many rules which come with severe punishments if broken. The giant takes Sophie's side and hands her back her glasses, prompting Sophie to ask if the other giants are nice like him. But the giant tells her as he serves himself a plate of weird-looking stew that the other giant eats humans. Sophie is then perplexed as to why the giant abducted her. He then explains with his faulty grammar that if he had left her, she would have gone around telling people that she had seen a giant 
which would in turn spike the curiosities of humans and lead to him being captured and put alongside the animals in the zoo. But Sophie promises that she wouldn't tell anyone yet, the giant doesn't believe her. Instead the giant tells her they will be spending the rest of their lives here in giant country while she's still talking about escaping. He tosses her blanket over her and takes her to a shipbed where he places her into the crow's nest, reminding her of the man eating giants out there as she tries to escape Sophie, then gets angry and corrects all his grammatical errors which makes him sad. She apologizes and notices a glowing object in a container. He picked up. Sophie asks what the content is, and the giant tells her their dreams. Sophie tells the giant she doesn't dream, as she is insomnia, and he picks up her book and starts reading it to her. Which is a surprise to Sophie that the giant can read while listening to the giant read. Sophie eventually falls asleep. The giant leaves to a room where he had all the dreams trapped. He then messes around with a few of the containers, and while Sophie wakes up to the snore of the giant and escapes 